problem of plant closings and the loss of capital is not unique to Youngstown, Ohio. It's a disease that affects much of the northeast part of the country. The light that we light today is a light to the nation. Today we're going to light the torch. Tomorrow we're going to relight the furnaces in the mill. The Ecumenical Coalition was calling today a new day for Youngstown, Bright Tuesday, compared to last year's Black Monday. Steelworkers renewed pleas for federal assistance in getting the camel mill reopened and restored lost jobs. We are born and bred in steel. We want to demonstrate that we can produce the best steel in the world. We want to, to restore Youngstown as a restore in steel. All we need is a chance. The crowd was not so large as the couple might have hoped. Only some 50 people joined the march to a noon rally at Federal Plaza. As the marchers headed towards downtown Youngstown from the Camel Works, they looked more like they were taking part in a funeral procession rather than a celebration. The mood of the marchers was... Show that over here. Here? Yes. They can't hear us down in Washington. Uh, it's not going to do any good. What's going on here? I think it's uh, the cold. Uh, about the turnout? Are you upset about that? Yeah, I think there's. The spirit picked up downtown as the Ursuline High School band took the lead, and the marchers added balloons. Music broke what had been a silent parade. But the crowd for the noon rally was small. The speeches were upbeat with public officials proclaiming that Youngstown lives. The area has not died despite the mill closing. Then the audience joined in for a litany. Rumors and pronouncements of further closings swirl about us. We searched and found light within us. The valley was plunged in doubt, but not despair. Struck down, but not destroyed. The light dimmed, but was not extinguished. For the ashes rose the light of a new consciousness. We come as victors in our faith, not as victims of fate. 